Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create continuous surface based on the curve. Let's start. So we will create new model and I will start with the sketch. On the sketch I will select the horizontal plane and with middle button I will jump to the sketch view. If I will create three separate lines, so first line will be for example straight line, then we will create a continue arc, so you can see here that system directly create tangent connection and also we are able to continue with the standard line. So we have three different lines and if I will confirm OK, now you see that I am able to select directly extrude feature and if I will select the extrude feature the system will transform this extrude to the surface and we see that we are able to specify the length of the or extensions. So for example 100 and also we can separate for example symmetrically to both sides. What does it mean if I will confirm? Now you can see that if I will switch off the datum plane that we have a three separate surfaces. First one, second one and third one. What does it mean? The edge or curve created the system create tangency and over here is the connections. If you will use the analysis and you will select the reflection, you can see that connection between surfaces are not so straight. So for example, we will apply more lines yeah, and we will see how the system break the lights on the surface. Yeah, it's not continuous. So what does it mean? Our goal is that we will create a continuous surface. So I will delete the created extrude feature and I will unhide the created line. In previous tutorials how to create the edges and lines, you learned that it is possible to select the curve and use the copy and paste. So you can really easy use the copy and paste and now I don't want to use the exact but approximate. What does it mean? The system will convert tangent edges to one continue lines and if you will come from OK now this new created line or edge is possible to use for sweep feature. The extra feature doesn't work because it's a copy geometry. So I will use the sweep feature, over here is the start point and if we will transform the surface and we will create over here the same line. So over here we will create a line, length will be for example 100, so dimensions will be same as before and if I will come from OK, now you can see that we have created one continuous surface. And if we will use also analysis and reflection, you can see here that connections really smooth. I think that like this will be best. And you can also add more lights and then you will see that transitions between these surfaces are continuous. In this example you have learned how to create continuous surface based on three different edges or lines. Bye bye, Vladimir.